I'll be missing you. I'll miss you. You guys are the worst. Yeah. We should do. You know what? I got a public announcement, dude. What? You know what? Look at the camera, Martin. Do you want to be a podcaster? Small house, big car, rap superstar, live large, big house. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Five cars. Is that my beer? Seven one two five media. Do it. They went a different route when they did that song, huh? You they had be two a different rock ones. Superstar. They had a rap and rock. Oh, okay. You want to be a rap superstar? Yeah, it was called live Bones. Large, clear. Your big Skull house. was rap and Bones cars. was rock. What do you mean? Cypress Hill. Yeah, there are two albums in the same. Oh, the did Skull they? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I never got their albums. I never got their albums. Nope. Yeah. Never got their albums. I didn't know that. I never got their albums. Your culture, yeah. then? Uh, yeah, I never heard rock. I've heard, you want to be a rap superstar? Live large. Live Five cars. cars. Five cars. I never heard rock. Live so large. they're just replacing rock with rap? Yeah, but different lyrics. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's different just lyrics the intro well. is different. The intro is just a little changed because rap and rock. But the lyrics are different, yeah. I'm gonna have to go back. See, that's what's dope about YouTube. You can go back and like listen to shit like that. You know what I mean? I mean, I got to see these in the truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to borrow, you got a folder actually, that you can you know just what? like. Yeah, my the truck's a 2012. We have a CD player in there. So yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was playing a CD play, CD <laughs> that shit earlier. Out. <laughs> I was talking, yeah, I was, uh, he was playing a CD. And I was like, fuck, I don't, I don't got that. It's crazy how that shit's like eliminated now. Yeah. There used to be like C CDs was like the hot shit, right? Then you have the, like the seat, the six player in the back or the fuck in the trunk in the trunk and then you have a uh a fucking tape player just in case like, well, you have, like, just came with just in case you'd have the visor thing here remember this two players? visors and then you have the zipper thing with the whole fucking like pokemon book type yeah, shit yeah, where you yeah, play yeah. All the remember the, the active cd players like the ones that the mobile ones like the ones the compact ones or whatever the ones you had doesn't skip it doesn't skip yeah, like you could jump yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it would skip at all and shit yeah those were dope like 40 bucks Walkmans, they, they were 40 bucks like they're like yeah. 40 bucks like 30 something like I can no, nah, they were way more nah like they're bucks. like 30 or 40 bucks I remember yeah, I, I had I a see through no, one back in the day I had a see through one where you could see the chips and shit mm. it was like green with like a see through plastic mm. you could see like the insides oh, the, the headphones were garbage back then remember that oh, it was yeah. just it was the just like a, a metal fucking thing above your head and then yeah. just like a little foam fucking the fucking kids are not gonna know about fucking going to the store and looking for a cd being on the bus trying to keep your cd player still yeah like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> or when the stupid or when the cd used to skip so you have to <gasps> and put ice on it or yeah. like whatever that was a lot of video games to that Fuck, too Fuck, dude i remember burning the cds struggle was oh, real yeah. dude. that was like the best feeling well, of burning a cd yeah and knowing like fuck. CD. remember that like, used to be at the barbershop like yeah i got i got barbershop part two when i think about burning song or like finding songs and putting them on a cd just the people that back in that day would name their song a, a popular song and you would download that one because you thought it was it oh like a lime wire oh, that was like a lime wire yeah like oh, those dudes were like stuff? yeah those the, dudes those were, were like the, one. yeah they were like ahead of the game first, yeah that's what i'm saying there that's what i was trying to get to it's like and then you end up liking their song as well. It's like, oh shit! Like yeah. they got well known off of like just yeah. naming it the same thing. So they were like you're saying ahead of their time. Like, but like I remember just... even before that is listening to the radio and having tapes and recording the radio, like just hitting record on tapes. Yeah. I remember I live when I lived with my dad. Uh, his dad lived us with us as well, and we shared the same room. So I had my room. I slept on the bed. He slept on the floor. And at night, he would put on a certain station. It was still like it would. It was a talking radio. Like a, they would tell stories and shit like that. He would just crack open his sardines, the little oh, you told us about thing that, like yeah. that, and put them in a tortilla. And he would just listen to this like scary. Uh, that, that was me shit last that night. Was called, like the scary radio station. I'd be like, what the fuck's going oh, on right yeah, now? No. The smell of sardines and scary stories is like <laughs> fucking. <laughs> was it cold ass head? tortillas? <laughs> was it just regular sardines or was sardines in uh in, in With tomatoes? The cheese? No, it was With sardine tomato sauce. It was in some type of liquid. I wouldn't be able to tell you what liquid it was, but he would just crack it Vinegar. open, throw them in a, a cold ass tortilla, and just yeah. eat them while my he's dad, laying down on the floor. My dad used to I'm get like, the Fuck. sardines in hot tomato sauce, like the jalapeno tomato sauce. So we'd have to warm Have it we up. Try that before? Yeah, I, never, I still, I I still get them that. every. I never tried there. sardines. Never either. I get that shit every now. Uh, have you ever tried anchovies? This guy, this guy mm -hmm. one time. That's anchovies, not sardines. Anchovies. What's the difference? No, you order fish on the pizza. It's anchovies. It's super greasy, super salty. 
It's the reason like, I got it is because of fucking Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's the only yeah, reason I always wanted to try it. I'm like, oh, that sounds bomb. So my mom gave it. made the, it seem so bomb. No. I ordered it on the phone. My mom was like, hey, yeah, order it. My mom it gave him the task, like, hey, order a yeah. pizza. And this you guy, can't even I order that in most places. Fucking, like, yeah, and I ordered, pizza, fucking pizza. I ordered sardines. <laughs> and it was like the biggest waste of money, obviously. Yeah. Like, this, like we were no talking about earlier, it. it's going to Blockbuster. It's like everyone's like, it's Friday. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. we're going to spend our money That's on this pizza. Thing, yeah. And I ordered you sardines. Wait, you you burned the whole pizza? My, they try to take it off. My dad's like, trying, no, to, you like can't. trying to man up. Like, yo, yeah. yeah, it's not that bad. Like, <laughs> you, can't, you can't take that shit off. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's gross. It's, it's, it's I did not, greasy. I didn't think it was that. In my head, because I like the mushrooms, like, you know, fucking pizza and mushrooms. I thought it was going to be similar to that in my head. No, it right. is It is greasy. It is salty. And it's like, it smells. The, the, it it's the greasiest, saltiest, most potent fish like flavor <laughs> you could ever have. Fuck. Like it, it's it's like it those it's like those tiny shrimp that you can. And it buy. wasn't like it was an extra large. You like know the tiny like... shrimp like that they make like shrimp cakes out of. Like oh yeah yeah yeah. It, the tiny shrimp have the most flavor in them, mm-hmm. and it's just it's just fucking it's briny. It's just it's a sea. Like I know. It, it, Trust me. <laughs> I try. Well, I'm trying to describe it for our listeners like, no. <laughs> who have never had anchovies before. It's it is greasy, fishy. It's the fishiest fucking fish. That you fish yeah. Why yeah, would you want to eat that though? That's just like, Ninja Turtles. Some, some people just like that shit. Some people do like it. Was a thing. Yeah. People did like it. Yeah. And no, when Man, I seen that in person, shit, I was like, like, no. Less and less people started liking it. And now you can't really get that shit. That's it's nice. rare. It's like a yeah. It's like a rare. You know thing. what I would like to do? Drink this beer. Oh yeah. Oh, what are about that? Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah, what are we drinking? So this is called Forever in Style, uh, North Park Beer Company, which is a what? Which is kind of fire, like it's a uh, West Coast. West Coast. Yeah, it is a uh, West Coast. DDH. IPA. DDH. I kind of right? like Wait, the whole. Wait, no, listen. DDH. DDH. Yeah, so you know what that means? Double, double dry hopped. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't know I didn't. Know. Yeah. But I kind of like the style of it's like the line paper it's from Beachwood. Like it's a doodle. Oh, that's from Beachwood. There's Beachwood on the side right there. All right, cool. Yeah, it is. Beachwood Brewing. What's uh, a, wait, hold North on. What's the North Park? Beer Beer Park? Too. Maybe it's a collab. Maybe. North Park Beer Company. Because it does say Beach North Park Wood right here. Brewery. Maybe it's from oh, it's North collab. North Park then. It's a collab. Yeah, it's, it's a collab then. Oh yeah, it so says it good. in that tiny ass fucking font right there. Yeah, just collaboration that. with yeah. Beachwood. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so, but they're taking the credit for it then. Yeah, North Park Beer Company. Uh, it smells good. It does smell really good. Well, cheers, fellas. Cheers, fellas. That's pretty good at West Coast. Yeah, that's West Coast. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Ice Cube. It's pretty good. What's the percentage? Oh, seven point two. Oh yeah, that's tasty. That's good. Yeah, it is. I like it. It's clean. Yeah, yeah it's like it's a, a smooth, clean ass yeah. fucking that, double like dry hop. At the beach, I can definitely. That's a good mm. one. Uh, what percentage? Seven point two. Good. Um, Bro, it's not. Yeah, it is. So going I'm back, going back to what you were saying, with you said your dad used to listen to these scary stories on the radio, right? My grandpa. Your grandpa, like last night, I'll send you guys a couple links or whatever. But I, I got stuck on this fucking, it's called the Graveyard Something. I wish I could give him a shout out, but like this graveyard, graveyard fucking stories on uh, YouTube. What the guy basically does is he explores graveyards, which most people would normally won't do. So he'll go like out here in, Anna, in fucking Orange County, go to Riverside, go to different ones. It's and California then, based. Uh, no, he's got New York. Oh, has he, he does all, oh, okay. all around. But um, but it's really cool because he goes to them and he'll like, just like whatever like pick like whatever like draws his attention, like oh, let me just do some research and if he can, he'll find out about them. And he was like fucking finding these people in Fullerton, like in Fullerton, the Knotts family, um, like like Knotts Berry like Farm. Farm, yeah, like the the mom and the the dad, like the the people that started Knotts Berry Farm. And they were talking about how like Walt Disney was like regularly going there and like learning from them and what they were doing. It was just literally a berry farm. And they just started adding shit like a fucking like horses. And then they started adding like a little ghost town and like just turned into like this big amusement park. Um, Fender, the guy that created the Fender guitar. Um, there's this Mexican dude. I had it written down, but 
he was like a big star where he was like a singer out here he blew up and then he ended up going to he had this song called a lot more that was really big he ended up going to mexico and then coming back he had like five different wives like it's just super interesting it goes to all these different people i'm um, another guitar guy that basically invented electric guitar um and then he went to riverside and he talked about like the people that founded riverside yeah that first brought the fucking orange or the lady that brought the orange and like blew up the whole orange county riverside all that shit but it's super cool he goes to la and he, all these different people that like ralph's like you know like the fucking chain ralph's like the guy started the ralph's grocery store it was a small grocery store he never got to see how huge it is now but um but like when he died he was just like you know some rich dude or whatever at that time but fuck he would never imagine what it is now his kids see it now but there's a lot of those stories where like they just started off small and like now they're just huge robinson's remember robinson's before macy's bought it robinson's man yeah so it's 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 a really interesting and i sent you guys a link of um Shemal. alfalfa well you sent the one with uh uh Shemal. what is that a sherman indian high sherman, school yeah. that's another one yeah which is still up. there which is kind of crazy just driving by and seeing it it's like no one's i've never seen anyone outside me either. I've never seen like, like the walking, students yeah, of the school. I've never yeah, seen I've it. never yeah. seen that. Shit. Or even on the football field, like I've never seen anyone running around the track. Or Where's the school? Where's the school? Sherman Indian. It's on uh, Magnolia and Magnolia and um, Jackson. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. That's uh, a, it looks like fucking abandoned. Yeah. They have a big water tower. Yeah. yeah they had they had a graveyard there because it, it what it was it's it's really fucked up history. So that high school it was one of those high schools where. They would bring indigenous people like indians Reform and, would, school and then they shit. just wanted to like they're literally their fucking motto was um kill the savage keep the man or some shit like it that. was like it was destroy it was something similar but not that specifically but it was yeah destroy the barbarian keep the man or something like that That's and like fucked. yeah so a lot of them died because they were displaced mm-hmm. from their families or you know different things but um the fucked up thing is like they their football team was really good they did this they did that but their first graduating class even then they fucking tried their hardest graduated and then in the newspaper it said barbarians graduate high school like that's so fucked yeah, up yeah, yeah. So. i was sure about to passing on passing on the 91 you would see that big old wooden tower thing you guys ever see that like it, it looked like like they would climb it or some shit the yeah. water though you're talking about the water tower no not the water tower it was like a I don't even know what it is. It looks like a big old wooden, like, dick man figure type of thing. No, mm-hmm. I can't. I Where? Know. Before Van Buren? Or after yeah, Van before Van Buren. Before. Well, of course, before right Van off the Buren. Freeway. Yeah, right off the freeway. The right? Next to the water tower. Uh, isn't there, like, a burial ground on Indiana? Yeah. The like Indian burial ground mm-hmm. right there? Dude, there's fucking burial grounds yeah. everywhere. No, but All I'm saying like, Riverside and Corona is just the, like they, they did, something that just, they preserved just it though. Dead people. What do you <laughs> mean? They're all preserved. They're in burial grounds. This yeah. one is. But There's I'm a pet sorry. one. You're talking about the pet one, pet cemetery. It's like right on Indiana. Once you pass, like well, Indiana. Uh, I know, way. but once you pass, um, Vegas. Oh, that like was from that some of the area. students from that school. It really? was the unknown children. Yeah, no, the, the unknown children are right by Etcherman Indian. Yeah, that's the one on Indiana. Yeah, but there's just, one deeper down, like by Viegas, like um, no, you see, I think that's the pet cemetery. Oh, is that the pet cemetery? The one by like going towards like uh, May, like McKinley? Uh, McKinley, yeah, yeah, it's a pet oh, cemetery. Okay. Yeah. But um, so the one, the scary one in downtown Riverside, that one's interesting as fuck because obviously it has all the like first people that came to to Riverside or whatever, and like all these wealthy people in Riverside. And um, the crazy part is, is like they talked about people that used to do like witchcraft and shit too. But um, um, they have World War. Is it? When, when did we fight the Japanese? Is that World War Two? Pearl Harbor. Yeah. So they talked about they have like four different gold, uh, not gold, uh, Purple Heart recipients there. They're Japanese. So long story short, um, when when we obviously we went to war with Japan, there was internment camps. Mm-hmm. When 60% of them were American, but they still put them in internment camps. It yeah. just fucked up. So they just rounded up all these Japanese people. There was a lot of Japanese people that also joined the military to fight Japanese yeah. people. And they didn't get that credit. They were just fucking... There was a lot of prejudice and all yeah. that shit, obviously. So these guys, there's a lot of guys that did a lot of fucking heroic shit. Heroic shit. 
and during the war, but didn't get like acknowledged for it. And and then like there was like this whole like fucking movement of like, hey, all these guys that fucking did this, this and that. So Clinton, when we were kids, fucking gave all these guys purple hearts that like deserved it when they weren't acknowledged for it um back oh, yeah. then. So four of them were were um buried in in, in Riverside. But it's it's, a, it's actually really cool. But yeah, you don't think about that. It's like Yeah. There were these fucking dudes fighting the country that their family's from, but yeah. not getting knowledge for it. Riverside's getting turned out right now though. Another like cool the thing the rent going up, like it's it's getting well, it's crazy almost a lot there. of millennials are moving there. It's getting a lot of people are moving to Riverside. The rent, like, I'm just yeah, it's, it's kind of getting crazy. Yep. Rona and Riverside. Yeah, that was like, like four years ago when it started booming, though. But um, another cool thing that watching this fucking um like graveyard thing, and I'll get off of it, is um 1918. Every single like cemetery he goes to, he sees like a row, like rows and rows of fucking deaths. 1918 and and like it's something you'll see next time you go to a cemetery because that's when the first plague happened because so many people were fucking dying left and right because they wiped out so many fucking people that you'll like see that pattern every do we time. know what plague it was or it was the spanish flu the spanish flu yeah. 1918 i mean i don't know one before that besides the black plague i don't, yeah. I don't know my plagues <laughs> like that. But I thought that was super interesting. Like, I wonder if there's gonna be 2020s, but obviously it's not as. Oh, big, this shit's you know, gonna be but... something though. We're gonna have movies in a couple, like in 10 years. Five oh yeah, 10 years. There's gonna be movies. About the fucked shit. up thing is gonna be like toilet paper, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be more of like a documentary on like dividing the country with Trump, and yeah, yeah it's not gonna be like well, some cool shit. I also have a uh, one of my drinking buddies at the bar. He talks about his house is haunted. He always tells me, like, and people that have gone to his house to go and drink and uh, fucking play cards and whatever, they say that it's fucking haunted. Like, they straight out say, like, we've seen some shit, we've heard some shit. That shit's fucking weird. And he's told me, like, that he's done his research and there used to be a lot of lynchings on his street, like, for Mexicans and shit like that. Like, where does he live? Eighth, over in Corona. Damn, Mexican got lynched too? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I didn't know. They didn't <laughs> yell at me. No, that's just part of the state. Just, like, anyone that what? wasn't white. Were they? They're <laughs> yeah. part of the state trade. You're so yeah. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I didn't know that yeah. at all. But yeah, he's, he's, he's always fucking telling me that like just <laughs> some white. weird ass shit that goes on on his fucking, in his house and he's looked up the history of that whole neighborhood and there used to be a main street that went through like his whole neighborhood and it's just changed since then so that's what, just nuts one of the crazy things of one of those uh stories about LA actually was um there was this slave owner that came from like the south right and then he moved to Utah and he brought his slaves and they allowed it at the time and then he ended up moving to California and California's like, no, what the fuck? We don't allow slaves. Like, like you, they arrested him, actually, and then they freed the slaves. Um, and then one of those slaves, this lady, ended up fucking just doing her own thing, started off small, and they ended up buying properties all in, in L.A. Her name was, like, Bibby or something like that. I think Bibley. Fuck, I wish I could remember her last name. Something like that, though. And um, she ended up buying all these different properties in L.A. And... Um, and then it wasn't until like the first black mayor in LA that like granted her like her tombstone and I actually acknowledged what she did because a lot of people try yeah. to erase that history so that was super cool the fuck did you put Bibli La oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put like slave yeah, or black. Up. Nope, not gonna come up. Well, there was a lot, <laughs> like how you said the whole lynching thing. There's a bunch of stuff like that yeah. happened in Riverside, Corona, and all oh, that. Yeah. Like, um, I knew some guy that was from, that grew up in Chino, and he would tell me all the time, like, did you know there was a battle in Chino? I was like, what a battle! It was a, when the Mexican and the United States fought, 
yeah. for land, there, there was a huge battle in Chino. Now, I forgot what they called it, but it was just like, I think the, the battle lasted like six months. That long? Yeah, because, I mean, I have to travel and, you know, get new troops. Well, that's what he said. But, find it? Battle of Chino? There you go, Mexican War. There you go. The war uh, occurred on September 26th, 27th, 1846. So it's two days. It's two days. Well, you're exaggerating. <laughs> God damn. Because <laughs> I was going to say, six months? Like, this is fucking crazy. No, but, I mean, that's... I don't know. Not six months. That's a lot. Yeah, but you're thinking about, like, war now. Like, back in the day, you had to travel. Even though he was wrong. No, but, but... I'm saying a battle doesn't last six oh, months. Oh, no. So. Like the Alamo did in the last six months. The Alamo was fucking an ambush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, oh, it was a battle over land based on who had the rights yep. to that land. It was part of the Mexican American War. Which is crazy because you don't, they don't tell us it's at school and we, no, yeah, that shit was down the street. Shit. Well, that's what I was saying earlier in fucking the last one. Like, the, the, are the, we doing this right? Yeah. The, Check out our podcast. The winner tells the story. Huh? And. You're right. Fuck whoever else. Like, yeah. Think about the victor. That. Think, but the winner. Yes. Didn't tell. Think the about story. that. Don't know about that shit. <laughs> Why do you have to just try to trump him right now? He said the no. winner tells the story. He's like, oh, the victor. Well, but, that's how it's yeah. usually. It is. I'm. I'll give it to him. It is. Like it is. It is usually told. The victor tells the story. Like. The... Don't give him that crazy. <laughs> I know. It's just I'll a, give it to him. It's Fuck a it. different way I've of saying it. Shitload of movies. That, you know what I mean? So. But anyways, so yeah. So it's fucked up to know like all the history we're taught, and yeah. it's just history that in it's the wrong in the curriculum it's, it's that's fucking just wrong. obviously like mm-hmm. sugar coated and wrong. Yeah, you know, there's elements that are true, but there's also like, oh, let's just fucking make it seem so patriotic or fake or whatever. Like that's so crazy, and it makes a lot of people like like ignorant and dumb too. Because like for example, the other day we we're talking about. Uh, at work, oh, we were talking about uh, a couple of my friends, yeah. my buddy, we were talking about America, right? America. And America. this guy is from Central America. And uh, he was like, he's like, yeah, we're all Americans here. And he's and one of the, one of the other dudes was like, no, dude, you were born in, uh, I think he was El Salvador. So you're born in El Salvador. He's like, yeah, but I'm, I'm an American. And he's like, no, you're not born in the United States. You're born in El Salvador. And he's like, I'm an American. This is an American continent. I'm Central American, and the guy, no. and the other, dude, the other dude was just all confused, like, "So America is not just for the United States?" Like, no, dude, it's Central America, South America, all that shit. He's just all it's super just confused. American, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. when you when you think of American, you, you think, think of the United, United States, States yeah. But all, but you, people don't. Yeah, like, we do, we do. But the whole thing, it's it's called. America, yeah. the Americas. Yeah. We're North Americans. But his dumb ass was just like, Oh, you're not from you're not from the United States, so you're not an American. But he was just thinking yeah. probably the United States though. Yeah, but no, but he didn't even know about that, you know, yeah, the whole that's thing. Where, that's where I was just dumb. like, What the fuck, dude? Like you, But you know, a lot of people don't know that Puerto Ricans are American. Yeah. Mine doesn't know that. Look at him his face. Well, yeah, you, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Like it's even though you're a fucking, considered yeah. American, you're just still you're not. Even Puerto like, Ricans are not considered but, American. But Puerto Ricans yeah, really are considered American. They're more. They don't a, get all the shit that we get. They're over a here. territory. They don't get, yeah, it's a territory. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. established it's not territory. Really American. The same. They have the same president, which is yeah, or president. They, they don't have get the same. The same idea. No, they have no, the same passport. They have their own president. No, it's a governor. It's like a mayor. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the same president. They, they should you just they, like did the mistake they, that Trump yeah, did. They, they Trump should, literally they, said, they should oh, they be considered because we we fucking own that shit. Territory. Yeah, they they yeah they should be considered Americans, but they're, but they're not. not. They it's fucked. Which is but fucked. they literally they can literally because, fly from Puerto Rico because to anywhere. Yeah, they're, and they're, they're stuck, exactly the same. Yeah, they're because stuck they're in this territory. They're stuck no, in this. They're, they're stuck in this it. fucking middle ground where they really don't have rights. We just because don't want. We, we just don't want to claim it. That's all yeah. it is. It's a lot of work to claim it, so they're just like nah. But as far as like citizenship, same thing. Yeah, they're like we own it, same but same you thing. motherfuckers, but they, don't, they don't feel a part not, of America. Oh, they hundred percent, they don't. Well, because we don't take care of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they think they're yeah. I've seen something on it's Vice. It's like Hawaii. It's Vice, like Hawaii. Like they had a Vice. 
what whatever you think about Vice, but they come out with some dope ass shit sometimes. Yeah, they do. They've done stuff on Puerto Rico. Hamilton's like, fucking Pharmacopia. Pharmacopia. <laughs> Pharmacopia. Pharmacopia. Yeah. Hamilton's <laughs> amazing on Disneyland. On Disney. Disneyland. On Disney Plus. Disneyland, whole <laughs> that's a whole. Hamilton. That's a whole different fucking. I know, Hamilton. but I'm just saying that it came up, so I saw. That's not yeah. close, but go but ahead. But it's a good ass fucking play. Cool. My nephews watch that like a hundred times. But go back with the Vice thing. Go back with the Vice thing. I'm just saying, like, people shit on Vice sometimes just based on the owner of what well, yeah, he's done, yeah, but whatever. He's racist, but yeah. They come up with some good content, which. No, but Puerto Rico, what'd you, what'd you see on Puerto Rico? Uh, they went to Puerto Rico and they spoke with the people that lived there and they're saying, like, they didn't feel part of the U.S. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they were saying, like, they don't get all the things that. Yeah, they don't. Get, they don't. They don't feel like they're a part of it because the, we don't give them the shit. That's why Trump got a lot of shit yeah, because like the they were like, and all that because shit. Um, he told them he's like, "Oh, your president should take care of it." When he's literally their president, yeah. <laughs> and then everyone made fun. Yeah, of I think him. there's like yeah. a like a situation where like they ship over there, like ship stuff over there. It's like it, like the cost of everything is totally like off. Like I don't. I would have to go over the, the yeah. Vice documentary again, but yeah. it was kind of crazy. How you, yeah, like, they have the same rights. I know people that were born there. And they just immigrate. A lot of them immigrate to like New York because that's the easiest. Yeah. But yeah, they're just. It's not even immigrating because it's just like flying there. Yeah. But it's like it. It seems that way because you think Puerto Rican, you're like, oh, it's like different country, like Cuba. But the Vice thing, and, also it, and it was like that for a long time. Yeah. Up until recently, but once it changed, nothing really changed, and At all, the presidents yeah. were like, yeah, you're still your own shit. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. Like when something goes down, go fuck yourself. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is crazy. I didn't know that till like two years ago. Yeah. For the longest, I didn't know that. The shitty. Real shitty. For all those people in all those fucking countries that like... Philippines is is kind of a territory of ours too, right? Like, oh, yeah, they have their own president and stuff, but like... Didn't we conquer it and then just kind of let them do their thing? Because it's don't... still... We have a huge military presence there. So yeah. it's it's kind of like... We own it, but we didn't claim it, or yeah. just let them do their own thing. Like, like it's kind of like we we're trying to do with Iraq, where we just like change their their way that that they run their country. I think maybe. Well, they have their own president because isn't he super strict yeah, on yeah, drugs yeah. and all that shit? Like he'll, he'll kill you. Murder yeah. Like, yeah, I forget his name, but yeah. but there's this thing where it's like we have power over them. I think it's because we overthrew the previous leader. And then we place someone that we thought maybe we can control. Yeah, it's like that type of thing. Awesome. Where like snowfalls like that on Hulu, like like the Contras and all that shit. Like that shit's so crazy. Freeway Rick Ross. I think that's loosely based. Well, I've seen dude. documentaries where it's loosely snowfalls loosely based on his life. Yeah, so, I mean, fire. he talks about like the CIA was a yeah, part well, of yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so the CIA would would bring in cocaine to the U.S to fund the guerrilla warfare with the Contras in Columbia. Columbia. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, everything connected somehow. So, I don't know. It was crazy. Well, they're doing that now. Yeah. I think it's been done, like, yeah. right in the Middle East all, like, everything. for a minute. Like, yeah, they've, they've used the fucking drug wars to fuel Like, the Iraq everything. war was, they, they helped, uh, I'm going to get this wrong, but they helped, uh, I don't know, the gorillas or whatever they're called in Iraq with their poppy seed fields. Opium. Opium fields for they could help us to take over that region. That was at a... And then now they're huge. And now Denzel they're fucking, movie, American Gangster, right? Was that Denzel? No, that was... Yeah, yeah I know. American Gangster Denzel, Gangster. Denzel, but that was more of Vietnam. Okay, you know, but still different poppy fields. Different time. Opium. Yeah, that's like speed or whatever it was at the Marine Corps. Heroin. Heroin. No, Heroin. Yeah, heroin. Because that blue magic, boy. Blue magic, but yeah. I mean, they, amazing. That movie was fucking shit. I, my favorite part's when he goes to the club and then the dude try to like label his heroin the same. He's like, it's like fucking McDonald's, man. Like, this is my brand, motherfucker. How are you gonna yell at me in my club? Who who is it? Cuba Goody Jr. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's who he's fucking punking oh, yeah. in the club. Cuba. Yeah, that shit's that was a good ass scene. Fucking radio. Cuba Gooding Jr. is fucking shot the fuck out right now. Is he? Like he's swollen as fuck. He's old as shit. That's older. Nah, and but they just on, they accused like... him of some bullshit a while back too. Snow Dogs is an amazing movie though. <laughs> Snow Dogs? 
No dogs? It was good. I never saw that Radio one. was fucking dope. Bro, radio? Now, if, I don't know if they can do this. That Why? Shit. Wasn't he like... It's acting. acting like, that's straight what, acting. Wasn't no he, radio, huh? Wasn't he in the oh, first shit. Iron Man? Was he? No. No? No, but like, what's his name says? You can't go Is full... About, um, you can't go full R. And he went full R in radio. That's just acting. That's what makes him great, though. I know who you're talking about, but... No, it's yeah, not but they Cuba. switched him out. No, it's not Cuba. They it's still a, switched him out. It was the guy from uh, um, Hustle and Flow. Cuba right there in that picture looks like a Goopa. You remember that from fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, uh, Super Mario Brothers? The, the, Mario, yeah, the Mario movie? <laughs> yeah. He looks like a Goopa. In the 90s? Yeah. Jerry Maguire, he killed it in that movie. Jerry Maguire. He's a great actor. No, the best movie that I remember is when he was a, a diver. With, with the oh, Lord oh, the last good men, or was that what it's called, or something like I that? I don't remember the name of it. A few good men, a few good men. That was, was a was great that, fucking movie. Was. Dude, he's been in so many fucking movies. It's crazy. He's a good actor. Line Watch. Yeah, he's a badass actor. His brother too. Who's his brother? His brother was in Baby Boy. Uh, Baby Boy's uh best friend. Oh, a few good men. A few good men. Yeah, that's a badass fucking good movie. Fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Badass movie. You going? What is he? Gladiator. This is the course, day you won the good one. I haven't seen it yet. Boys in the Hood. Oh, Men of Honor. Pearl was Harbor. It, it was Men of Honor. Yeah, it was. Oh, was yeah, that the diving one? Honor, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hugo Man was a good one though too. Who was fucking dope? Boys it's in no the Hood. It was Boys in the Hood too. Yeah, but that's of course. That's just <laughs> off the jump. He wasn't coming oh. to America. What do you mean? What's wrong with it? <laughs> no, I'm saying like that's a given. Martin, keep going that way. Like you don't think he acted good in that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a given. Oh, Let's see, like you're saying, like when you think Cuba, you think yeah, you, that's all. I, if I thought Cuba, that's the first movie I'd think of. Press it again. Oh no, I think of other movies. I'm not racist. I just watched the um... <laughs> <laughs> again. <Maureen. laughs> but there Selma? was he was in Selma. This one's it's slowly, like slowly that's becoming fun. the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, losing Isaiah, fuck, bro. If you see. You okay, <laughs> that's a that's a sad ass fucking movie. I don't I've never seen that movie. I, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it. Where the mom gets the t- kids taken away, but she gets her kids taken away by a white lady, and like she's on drugs and shit like that. Oh no, never nope. seen that. Never seen Damn. it. But the movie I did watch the other day was with uh, Robin Williams. I've spoke about it before, and Cuba's in it. He's Robin Williams' son. Um. I forgot the name of the movie, but look up uh, Robin oh, Williams and uh, <laughs> what happens in it? So Robin Williams, he's married in the movie, and his wife, uh, no, he dies. Oh, oh what, what dreams may come? Yes. What dreams and then Robin come? Williams uh, goes into fucking, he dies, and then his wife commits yeah, suicide. So was... he has to fucking, yeah, he has to find her in it's this like fucking yellow, hell realm or whatever. Yellow, right. Yeah, yeah, I never saw Dead Poets Society, that but everyone talked about movie. that movie. That's that movie is the fucking shit and it's sad as fuck. Yeah, it, the it's movie is sad as fuck. The movie sad. that was dark for me with Robin Williams, one of the last ones I saw, was the one where he's like a works for the picture com- picture like oh my one God. hour photo. Yeah, one hour photo. Yeah, that one's fucked. Bro, this is the movie you're talking about, I think. Crash earlier today. Oh, Crash was fucked. Where all they intertwine somehow and she's yeah. the cops finger in her. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, that movie was, that was tight. That, that, movie that, that movie's fucked up. Not Crash Bandicoot. That shit. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot's a fucking great <laughs> game. <laughs> that reminds Spyro, me of, Crash Bandicoot. I, that, fuck Spyro, dude. PlayStation. No, Spyro's great. That reminds me of fucking um when you're a kid and you have the demos. Remember you buy the PlayStation and they give you a demo? Then you could play like Crash or fucking yeah, you Spyro. Always, you always got fucking random demos. Yeah. It was dope because like you would beat them and then you just who cares I'll, I'll beat yeah. it again. It's just free. Yeah, and that's like their way of getting you to buy the game. But still, it was it was fun. Yeah. You never bought the game. No, never. Yeah, <laughs> 2004, first year of high school. They gave you the oh, first level me, free, yeah. and it's just you just play the first level. <laughs> crash that crash that was a dark ass fucking movie, bro. It Dude, was. Dude, that was dark. Watch the one I was just talking about. One hour photo is dark as fuck too. I remember yeah. that movie. He's a fucking creeper in that shit. Yeah. Oh, this fool was in the Lou Iron Man it. movie. Red Tate, the very first guy, age. Don. Not yeah. Don Cheadle. Yeah, Don, Don Cheadle. Cheadle. Not fucking um. He was a black. Uh, not Cuba. He was, was Don Cheadle, yeah, and then a, and then re- 
and then uh, no, who's he's he's Iron now Man. he's, he's now Iron in Man Iron Man. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Who but they, the but who, the guy before Patriot. him was a uh, homeboy from Hustle and Flow, and they replaced him with Don. He's right there. Yeah. Terrence. Terrence Howard. Yeah, there you go. That guy is oh. fucking dope. He's in uh that movie where they go in Vietnam and they try to rob a bank. Dead presidents. Dead presidents. Dead presidents. Yeah. What was Lorenz State? <laughs> Dead yeah, that's right. yeah. Both of them. That's your Eric. Yep. Lawrence, uh, Lawrence, Lawrence, Saint. Lawrence. Yeah, he t- he beats that fool's ass. That fool table. doesn't fucking age. No, he doesn't at all. I I follow him on like, Facebook or some bullshit, and he looks exactly the same. It's crazy. But uh, um. But uh, um. <laughs> Snowfall. Do you guys? Have, have watched but uh, um. Do you watch? <laughs> He said, "Uh huh." <laughs> did we watch what? Yeah. I'm on Kingdom. So where where did we go earlier? We went to fucking oh dude. Oh shit! Shout Today out. was a day. Shout Today, out uh, to fucking Modern Times. Oh Anaheim. Modern Times. Modern Times. Uh, what are they Leisure Legion, Town. Legion Town. Modern Times Leisure Holy Town. Holy fuck! If Legion, you guys are in California, Legion's like a big ass cut or like something like it's a Legion. Uh-huh. No, Leisure right? Town. No, <laughs> he said like, Leisure. He no. said Leisure. Why are you pointing at him like you're telling on him? You I didn't snitch. I heard this. <laughs> I know. Oh, this God. God. <laughs> Legion <laughs> Town? I didn't. A Legion. Huh? A Legion is a fucking a hole in your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about. He said Leisure. Leisure. He said leisure. leisure. I didn't town. say that. Leisure. I didn't even say well, that. Bro, we're Anaheim. recorded, bro. We're fucking fucking modern times. We'll go leisure back Town. He said Leisure Town. Anyways, if you guys are in Anaheim, California, if you guys are not from California, Make sure you guys visit. Book a ticket. <laughs> Book, Book a, a ticket. ticket. <laughs> Stand in line for Modern, modern times. times. Well, just even where Modern Times, there's everything around. There's a whole bunch of Not everything Yo, around. We'll relax. There's a Not fucking everything. pool there's a at tire. this brewery. There's a yeah. tire. There is a pool. I want to say it's brewery. the first brewery with the pool. Is Am I right? Uh, that yeah, we know I of. I have that we one. know of. Yeah. Uh, that place is chill as fuck. Dude, it was I told dope. you guys. Well, at night, it's even more chill. I'm glad I thought about it. Stupid. <laughs> Imagine if it's dope. Would, like the first time I went there, I went there at night, and I was like, "This is my fucking time." Modern of place. times in general is just chill. Like the one in, in I Sedita just like their style. I like I like how they go out of their way to like like kind of develop their style. Even when it comes to like art and like their appearance, the color, <laughs> yeah. the colors on their building and all that shit. Beer is fucking bomb. Mm. Their service is cool, and like the whole like. The whole atmosphere, atmosphere is ambiance. sick. Ambiance. Um, Feng Shui. And then across streets, packing house. Oh, yeah. Across streets, what's the other brewery we went to? Unsung. 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 So Which I do like their fucking artwork and their logo. Unsung? Yeah, yeah Unsung. Unsung? It's a cool brewery. Like, like, their layout was dope, too. Yeah, they were dope. They're Mexican friendly, mm-hmm. for sure. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah, they like brown people. They're in Anaheim. They have to. <laughs> I know. They don't have they're, to. They're in Anaheim, crime fool. Yeah. They have to fucking. Or you need to get out of your house more, dude. For real, bro. I got tatted on right there on that sh- like almost by that street on Harbor. <laughs> almost by that street. <laughs> by your cousin. Right, right there. Right yeah, on that. By almost, a mess almost, kid. Almost yeah. by that. At a fucking place called Lowrider Tattoo. Well, that was okay. on Chapman. Fool. So then, what do you say? Right there. So you're proving our point. <laughs> That's all I that know. is. I'm saying I know my fucking history. Sorry, uh, <laughs> Martin was let out of the house today, and he bought a fucking fifty dollar fucking uh, jacket that his wife's gonna beat him up for. So which I still feel bad about it. Like I good. shouldn't, because I know I we can. I don't like buying shit where I no, know no, I, feel like I can. We do can't shit. really make that. That's not custom. the colorway, but I'm just yeah, saying, like, it's a nice fucking jacket. Though. All right, I'm gonna say it. Oh, right. I keep saying it. It's a nice fucking jacket. It is. Right. Napoleon You're died in my vibes. You're welcome. I'm about to be in a fucking I'm a bowling team. <laughs> this is our yeah. warm up jackets. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Fuck. No, but we probably busted six hours, right? We busted for six like, hours? It was two, and then we didn't get here till what? Ten? What time did we get to Barn Times? I don't remember. Two. Was it? Jewish. I was so, in, oh okay I got yeah, it there too got, and I stayed in line yeah. Sam and stood like, in line for a minute so like three <laughs> <laughs> we, let him, we let him simmer for an hour and then we got there 
But no, we did that. We went to Packing House. We went to. What did we have What's at the place called? Unsung. Unsung. No, but at Packing, what did you get? We went to Tony Pepperoni's. And then we yeah. went to uh, Stadium Brewery. Oh, yeah. Sounds We're crazy. all over the place. But what was that? Uh, the Indian food you got? No, non. 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 I had what specific and non? Is it, was, it just it was, non? Or is it, was, it like it's a non bread? No, it was goat cheese non that I ordered. That you never good. had non ever? It was you never had tiki masala. So is non what it what's you never the had bread is any non? Indian non, food. Yeah. non is just flatbread. So That's it's all the it bread. Is. Yeah. And then they che- whatever they're put in between. It's like a quesadilla. Well, that, uh, that it at, seemed like a you see that's what fucks Look, me up. It's because place, he thinks that that's what it is when yeah. it's not. So that's it's like just a, just imagine a puffy tortilla. Mm-hmm. tortilla. That's all it is. No, but but with like a more of a, like a seasoning on top of it. Yeah, more so, like a more like a bread too. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just bigger. It's it's a fluffier. I had tor- flatbread. Yeah, it's it's flatbread it's, that's seasoned. But usually you like you. Tear it apart and then you pick up. Yes, but that's how it is for Indian food. Yes, none is so, that. But so what did one, we this, have today? So whatever you're this comparing one, it, it to, was that's just, where it came from. Yeah, it was just like goat, a more it, had, type. it just had goat cheese in it. It was just stuffed. Yeah. It was stuffed. So the flatbread you're thinking of, uh, that's where it came from. Mm-hmm. None. Yeah. So none is the bread. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just flatbread. Flatbread. But you could get it with fucking yeah. garlic. Yeah. But you garlic never, on top but he's butter. never tried Indian food though. Yeah. That's the thing is like he's not culture. He's not. Well, I've been to. What's it called? Been there before. Where? On oh, no, a Mission Grove. Bro, that's Thai food. You fucking is it Thai food? Oh my god! Yeah, Wait, someone's that. gotten like Indian food there. Oh my no. god! Curry, oh, curry is. Curry. Oh my god! What's curry then? Curry is just fucking <sighs> Asian, yeah. which is just which I don't. Like, he doesn't like, even just, know that Indian is in Asia. Yeah, he you're like that, that guy who doesn't know about America's a continent. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, when you think Indian, you don't think Asia, <laughs> huh? Yeah, the same thing. I do think I used to piss off my fucking girlfriend back in the day, my ex now, but just saying like, oh, I want some, let me get some more guiso. Oh, yeah. it, it's the same fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, what? Let me get some guiso. She's like, you mean curry? I'm like, same fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. Give me some, tr- some fucking tortillas too. She's like, what? That's none. I'm like fucking same shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're tortillas. They're fucking. It's a trip. No, but Mar- yeah, but Marin went, went Marin, like, Marin and right by that place, that Thai food place, place, a place called Gandhi. It's actually pretty good. But yeah, when do you try Indian food? Your 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 whole fucking palate's gonna change. Yeah. Like we introduce you to real beer. When, you, when we introduce you to like Indian yeah, food, it's an explosion of flavor. It's bomb. Yeah. It's they, insane. They use so many it's fucking like, spices. Yeah, I, in, I, I in get everything. it, Marvin, that you've tried this food, this food, that food. Totally different. Like you never yeah. had these type of spices in food. There's it's so many good. spices and so much butter in it. It's just it's fucking it's just completely nuts. different. Nuts. Yeah, you can't even put it like, and like you'll, it's you'll just a hundred percent different from anything else. Yeah, you'll eat something and be like, holy shit, that's completely vegetarian. And you're like, yeah, it's just it's so good. <laughs> It's good. I mean, I can't do it every day, but no, it's, it's, it's really it's good. It's usually though. really fucking heavy. Yeah. It's crazy how you mentioned about how you were telling your ex girlfriend, like, oh, it's this, it's that, and this and that. Yeah. Because it really is that. It really is. Because, like, like um, I was watching this thing on Netflix called uh, Look, Talk, uh, something Tacos, right? So they were talking about Pastor and the history of Pastor. Pastor came from India. Yeah. So when they came, when they went to Mexico, they were doing it with goat. Cause yeah. you know they're big on goat and all yeah. that out there, but in Mexico it was like we have a lot of pig. Yeah, they didn't really have a lot goats, of pork, like, so they did their own thing and they made pastor and like yeah with the, the, rota- the rotating all that. Shit. There's a lot of history like that. So even the accordion that came yeah, from yeah. Germany. From Germany, yeah, yeah. A lot of people so don't know it, that. That's it's, it's just a bunch of the mix, shit the melting pot came, that came from like you know Columbus you know, and the Vikings and all. They brought a bunch yeah, of different I mean, things obviously here. Obviously, we're conquered by Spain. Then French for a little bit, and then fucking. Yeah. So they just right. took a little bit from each culture what they learned from, and then they made it their own. Like the United States, like yeah. there's all kinds of shit here that you think like hot dogs is like American. No, hot dogs is German. Yeah. I remember when uh, Cracker Jacks, this fucking Eric, uh, Fat Eric from Lucas. He was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's the most American thing ever, and we looked it up. It's like not even American. Yeah. <laughs> he was so is, pissed. Isn't it like Swedish? I don't remember what it Cracker was. Cracker Jacks are fire, though. Yeah. We, we kept time, looking up everything that good. he thought was American. And but it for wasn't. the longest, I thought, like, yeah. oh, Ameri- the American dog and this and that. 
And then I looked it up and it was like, What I, is American though? Very little things. Peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. I don't know. What's French fries? That's American though, right? No, that's no? fucking. No. Oh, get smarter. <laughs> What's French fries? No, but even French fries, like, they don't. Belgium, they eat it with mayonnaise, yeah, there right? You go. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it's funny, it's funny because if you go to. If All you right. go to France, don't get. If you go to France, if you ask for French fries, if you ask for French fries in France, they're like, "What the fuck is French fries?" Yeah, because we, we it's called named American it that. fries. American fries. Yeah, it's funny. We're just fries. It's just fries. What about carne asada fries? No, because um, stupid. Because <laughs> where those come from? We were beefing it with French when Bush was around. Remember he wanted to change French fries to Freedom fries. Oh yeah, that's this thing. Yeah. That'd be a fucking weird. Day. <laughs> yeah. Talk, can I get the freedom prize? Please? <laughs> yeah. That sounds people like people did. People that did. that reminds me of like that prize. movie, uh, Idiocracy. <laughs> Remember that movie? Oh yeah. yeah. Where like the <laughs> their it, their it seriously like, feels like it's been getting <laughs> just slower and slower into that fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. that movie's hilarious. It's it's just funny. Slower. It was like a, it was a documentary I was watching, and some guy was ordering French fries in France. They're like, "What is that?" Like, oh. French fries. You know what French fries is? Like, you know, potato. This is like, oh, American fries? Oh, we just call it fries here. Like, oh, <laughs> shit. It's not from yeah. out here. Like, I don't, no, think, I don't no. even think I say French when I go to like. Just say fries. Fr- I just, just say, say fries. fries. Yeah, I don't say French fries. Like, we, don't, we don't fry. call soda pop anymore. We just say soda. No, but people in the Midwest do call it pop. pop. Out here we Oh, well, we went to well, Chicago. We Remember when yeah. Chicago, the bathrooms were called something different. I forgot. Toilets. They weren't called restrooms. Toilets. They're called something else. Well, when you totally go to when, when you go to um, Canada, it's toilets. They just call them fucking toilets. It's weird. Laboratories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think the loo. I think yeah, I think England's they're just called chips. Because I remember it was like toilets like, or like something. Chips is yeah. actual potato chips. But I know pop is still a thing like in the Midwest. Yeah. That's just throughout fucking America. We call it it's soda. Different. Soda, yeah, soda there, pop, pop. pop. Yeah. Fountain yeah. drink. What the fuck is a fountain drink? Right. <laughs> Are you really looking for what? No, because it, was co- it wasn't called restrooms. It was something different. I don't know how to look it up. <laughs> Why did you look up he images? Put, he put restrooms <laughs> called in Chicago. <laughs> 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 it was called uh, something. It was called something different. But then you clicked on images, like it's gonna tell you. I don't know. I know. The, picture, well, because, the pictures yeah. aren't gonna tell you. <laughs> I don't. It hurts. Doesn't it hurt sometimes? Yeah, I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how he gets through his day. I don't know how he gets through life. It's so. Crazy. What is it gonna call? Like, is you click on pictures? That's not words. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, fuck you. Fuck Google. <laughs> <laughs> Google's wrong. <laughs> Fucking Google. <laughs> this fuck beer's you. pretty good, though. It is. Yeah. It's, it's, a, I can't it's a nice West Coast, huh? I'm digging it. I enjoy he it. He was about to get a different one. I was like, hold on, Eric. No, it's a unicorn. It? <laughs> <laughs> what did we have in modern times, though? Uh, uh, a bunch of different ones, had? but I didn't. I, I regret not getting the names of them. I just kept I got, asking the bartender, like, yo, yeah. I want this, I want that. I had two stouts that were fucking both 14 point something percent. The chocolate one was fire. Yeah, the chocolate yeah. one was good. You know what was good? It was those fucking tater tots or whatever the fuck. That vegan food they had there, the fucking, well, basically was a fucking, fucking Taco Bell crunch wrap, but they had their own version of it. Pretty good. Martin, you really don't know how to fucking Google. It's fucking ridiculous. You're the worst well, yeah. Jamie in the world. One of the it was called Stout uh, Dragon something chocolate blah blah blah. Yeah, it was that one was really good. The chocolate one, it it tasted like chocolate fucking milk, dude. Yeah, it was crazy. And the other one I had was um, aged in brandy and bourbon barrels, and it was fucking delicious. Both of them were fucking. I had tasty. the broke the broken dreams uh hazy IPA. That was just like a fun location. That, that was, was cool. so bomb. Yeah. So bomb. Can't wait till I guess COVID's over. Did you hear that they're gonna open Disney in like yeah. July or some shit like that or April? I forget. Yeah, that's coming. That's coming. Their gyms I heard are gonna open up soon. But not with like saunas and shit. Oh, that's what sucks. Saunas are the shit. 
Why? Like 24 hours, they sent us an email saying that they're going to reopen, but they're not 24 hours. But they still want to charge you. I'm like, bruh. Better fucking take some. I'm oh, paying $20 to fucking, go for a fucking I have a gym day. here and a pool and all kinds of shit. And I'm still getting charged for that. I think that's annoying. Like, they should give you a yeah, discount that, for that. How is that happening? Yeah. You can't bring that up? Like, bro, I don't get to use that shit. Yeah, it's true though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of bullshit. You just have to get everyone here. <laughs> Band together? Yeah. <laughs> we do have a community fucking hey, thing. Hey, I'm, I'm fucking paying like HOA fees and shit. Like I should fucking do the same thing. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Like fucking 200 bucks a month or some shit like that. 200 bucks a month? For real? No, I think it's like 100 and... It's like, I don't... For us it's like 120. Yeah. 100 or something. Can't even go to the pool. Right? I don't even think I could fucking walk around the lake right now. Because they're trying to do construction and shit. And shit. And shit. Fuck. You're Why can't I just look cooler. at the image? I just want to look at the image. <laughs> even the way he puts his fingers, it's like frustrating. What are you looking for right now? I, already, I want to look at this I image. already forgot what you're looking for. <laughs> just give up, dude. <laughs> It's me a quitter, dude. Up. Just give up, please. For the I'm sake, just thinking about birds. For the sake man. of humanity. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, fucking, who's that? You ever seen him pulling dynamite? Remember the guy that, like, I could throw this football over the fucking hill? Oh, his uncle? Yeah. His uncle. He kind of has that vibe, right? <laughs> Throws it all fucking sideways. <laughs> With that jazz. That's a sick ass van. <laughs> that was a badass van, though. <laughs> that was Eric's van. Uncle something. Yeah. What was his name? Uncle Reno or some shit? Yeah. Rico. Yeah. Uncle Rico. Rico, Rico, Rico. 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 Yeah. Please, Uncle. Look, him up. Look him up, Uncle Rico. <laughs> that fucker was hilarious. Mom says you gotta leave. You're eating all the steak and you're ruining all the lives. <laughs> <laughs> when he throws the football in, it's fucking. There he is. <laughs> and he has a black girlfriend. <laughs> Remember, he has like chains. No, that's not shit. him. No, the that black... is him. The brother no, has a brother. A, that's a brother, dude. dude. Oh, why do you always gotta yeah. fuck every story up? The little fucking brother Martin, fuck. or the older brother. Yeah. Look at that van. Look at that van. Go to the van. That's fucking Eric right there. Sick man. ass van. Not gonna have that. <laughs> dude, why not with the curtains? It's a dude, badass dude. fucking man. Sick. We do that on a podcast, podcast on the road. We'll drive to the guest. Like, that should be badass. I'm not going to have that. <laughs> Why? He just doesn't want to get a car, period. <laughs> I know. Having that van would be sick. How about a motorcycle? Well, then we'll all pitch in on the van then, because that's just tight. <laughs> <laughs> fucking van with curtains? <laughs> Suede seats? Oh, you g- you no, know, we wouldn't have seats. You just have the two, the, the driver and the passenger in the back wouldn't have seats. Well, we will for a little bit of at least one Vegas trip. <laughs> no, we just the back, back would there. just have a mattress. <laughs> they would have bench seats like on the on the. We found a pretty dope. We, and be, and we found some curtains. dope ass ones in the uh, off of, <laughs> off are, up. Those were pretty tight. <laughs> The bead curtains? Yeah, the bead <laughs> curtains. Remember, I think it was a you know, we'll little surround And it has a little there. chest table in there. You the, the, I remember the little TV. They little had chest. a little TV. You know, you can get arrested or at least a ticket I if it for having like, sexual relations in a vehicle. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's cool. No, but it's like a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's always been a thing. I didn't know. I just recently, like within the last five years, known that. Cool. Yeah, that van would be fucking dope, though. How many times have you had sexual relations in a vehicle? <laughs> a vehicle. A lot. I've thrown a lot of socks out of windows. That's all I can say. Why? <laughs> that's you just jacking off in cars. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what that sounds like. Fucking oh, steer yeah. bandit strikes again. <laughs> That's it's just a sock gross. on someone's windshield. It's oh like, my god! <laughs> my mom's been doing my laundry and missing a lot of stuff. Oh <laughs> my! No, that's just wiping your shit out. You. Oh, with just your sock? Your sock just torn out. Around the moment. I've never yeah. done it, but I'm saying people have heard. <laughs> yeah. People have told me. Supposedly. Well, you just roll home with one sock. 
I rolled home with a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny thing too, though. That's when you I believe that. in the car, <laughs> you just don't put the rest on, and you just like roll home with, like your boxers and tank top. <laughs> your belt's like not you even. Feel, yeah, you together. feel all like refreshed and shit with the, the windows open. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I heard about like it's cool. It's hilarious though. <laughs> windows down, like yeah. <laughs> bumping the tune. You're like, yeah, I just. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, I I understand what you're saying. I could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hilarious. <laughs> shit. Oh man. I'm saying sex All for marriage. All the sirens and shit. <laughs> Wait, so are you getting married still? <laughs> What's going oh, on? No, cellos are coming back though. What? I feel like the cellos coming back, like the style. No. You just said that. The sirens and shit. Yeah. The so way you still getting married or what? I know what that was weird. Like, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, you guys uh, know I'm trying to be the fucking the guy who holds the little, the little fucking smoke thing. Yeah. I'm trying to be We're the fucking Catholic priest. Catholic and shit. <laughs> well, I just want to do it. Fuck. Yeah. Maybe we can't bring an anaconda to your fucking wedding. I'm gonna. Don't want none. You know your wedding is not, not gonna be son. normal if we're there. Yeah. Eric's gonna marry you. I'll bring a Eric, fucking that's, ma- I'm not gonna pay you, but it's gonna like, <laughs> don't pay me. You can eat for free. I'll be dressed in all fucking black and shit. I'll, no way. I, I <laughs> I'm in charge of the band. I thought you were doing the white thing with no like Actually you're in charge of the band because you're getting this band. I'm doing all dressed in all white. Me. Well let me get a different band. I'm getting the, the I have a black card. The though. Babylon. <laughs> yeah, Corona treats us this year. Hey, you marry a Coachella. What happened to that? Coachella didn't happen. That's what happened to that. Well, <laughs> we could go to Castle Park. <laughs> now we're thinking with her aunt has like a little thing, like Elsinore. So how that goes. Castle Park would be a dope wedding. That'd be hilarious. At the big top. Like <laughs> I play, think me and Melissa play mini golf afterwards. Me, <laughs> yeah. Melissa and I imagine take, me all suited up and playing nah, mini Mal- golf. <laughs> Melissa and I take the whole marriage thing, like the rest, like the whole aspect towards how other people view it like i would love it to be hilarious and be funny and shit like that you know what i mean like well, do would be hilarious. that should be like i it wouldn't matter to me because marriage to me really isn't shit whoa like just imagine all the grooms it's just a fucking spaceship it's just a it's the fucking flying saucer just it's to say what like we've already been in the trenches like we've been in this it's shit. the government that's what I'm saying. It's nothing. You, yeah. Like we've been in this shit. Oh, it's like, a lot. A tradition. <laughs> Is you it? Leave. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Changes your taxes. She makes more money than <laughs> I. She makes more money, so she'll be paying my ass. So it don't really matter. No, you're in California, so she you be paying her. No, nah, yeah, if my no kids. No, nah, if my kids decide to come with me, and shit. they won't though. They won't, Fat right. boy's like, nah. nah she, they she's will. getting paid more. You can buy more food. <laughs> this <will>. logic. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I go outside. He likes going outside. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bro, I'm super yeah. sick at Uno. Fucking. <laughs> well, you're putting that shit today. I was like, they don't want to play with you. No, yeah. Uno's come a long way. There's a new Uno where you push a button each time, like you don't get a card. And then once you push the button, it spits out cards. Like it's Uno attack or something like that. It, I think that's what it's called. So it splooges on you. So you it's Uno get, splooge. It's fucking hilarious, but it's, it's a trip. Like. Uno splooge. I want today. It just jizzes on your face. We played three games. I won <laughs> twice, and then he he lost, and he just threw the cards at me. I was like, what? you're a fucking loser. <laughs> Damn, sore ass loser. Fucking loser. Did you fucking just tip his head over? <laughs> we have football practice tomorrow. And I'm, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm fucking you're, hit, I'm hit sticking these motherfuckers. Like real shit. Take him out. <laughs> Bottom mouthpiece. Are you like a coach? I'm assistant. I'm gonna help out. Yeah. Oh, you're. Assistant. I'm gonna hit this. You're, you're, bringing, you're bringing the orange slices. I'm st- stiff. <laughs> I'm gonna. This kid doesn't know, bro. Like, you just stay out. Huh? <laughs> That's how you take your egg out. You just wait for football practice. <laughs> he says, "Fucking up his son." <laughs> no, you have to like. <laughs> you have dick. you have to go through a third party, and they run your um, social and. <laughs> You, they run you to see if he just like fucking clotheslines his kid while he's walking by. <laughs> How'd you come up? You good? I work for the where I work. So I'm good. I was about to say where I work, but I think <laughs> damn. That's uh, this now. <laughs> you check Dalmatians. There's sex offenders everywhere. There really is though. It is crazy. 
You can look it up for free online, yeah. guys. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. I know yeah. everybody does that when they buy a house. That's like the yeah. first thing they do. I did that. There's yeah. a there's a shit ton in fucking Movell. Yeah. A shit ton. Well, Movell's like. There's also a lot of sex offenders there. Like they just took a piss outside, right? In DC, no, closing? but you could see what they what they oh, fucking yeah, they, did. They, they oh, put down they have, yeah. There's a lot of them that fucking did some fucked up shit. Fuck. Yeah. Well, because a lot of people moved to Movell because nothing was there. Yeah. Then all of a sudden they build shit around to that. What's well, the same so with now fucking, they're stuck there. What, what's past that? Hemet? Like yeah, yeah, Paris, Paris, yeah they Hemet, just kept pushing they just kept pushing everyone out there that like got out of fucking prison and shit. Blythe. Yeah. Yeah, well Hemet's fucked up now, so Yeah. Yeah. But, well, we're, but it's what's just up, everything's just starting to spread back out there. What's on the up and up is like Temecula and Marietta. That's been yeah. yeah oh, what I'm saying, like they're the price range out there is crazy. And the houses, the homes are nice. Riverside is becoming. You get it? You want to move there? No, yeah, because it's closer to San Diego. Um, but Riverside is becoming a shit, a shit hole. You want hundo? <laughs> a shit hole? <laughs> Why? Because it's too expensive? <laughs> no, because all these fucking homeless fuckers. Well, thank you. Are there? Fucking... Bro, people are where I live. There's homeless walking on the street. Just. Oh, I'm sorry. Walking down the street. So, so in the nice area, have ever said you guys have homeless people now? Yeah, we shouldn't have that shit around there. <laughs> well, I don't give a fuck. Welcome like, to the club, son. No, like that's so crazy. <laughs> but those used to be our homies. Yeah, they never were my homies. <laughs> have conversations. With I was them scared to get bit every time or scratched. <laughs> They're fucking zombies, fool! What the fuck? I that's know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> the human beings, you asshole! Sick as dreads. Know, dude, just talk to there them. There are zombies. CDC has a fucking zombie. Uh, fucking thing. We've been talking to Ruben way too much. What's going on right now? Can give us a conspiracy theory right now. No, they have a look at zombie. You. Boom. What? Oh shit! What the hell? <laughs> we prepared for zombies. Yeah, you fucks. I saw that shit. <laughs> and that's a real CDC website. Yes. I'm not fucking. I don't just say shit because I want to say shit. <laughs> yeah, you do. I do, but this is one thing but that where, was true. But where on this fucking page does it say homeless? <laughs> yeah. No. Where? Well, you can where? consider anything a zombie. Really? Homeless. They have nowhere to go. They're fucking. I don't know, but somehow. You can connect <laughs> the dots. Bro, I'm not a scientist. You know that. <laughs> okay. For real? Definitely wouldn't be here then. <laughs> Well, Why do they use a fucking girl from the grudge yeah. though? Like, <laughs> Boy, that's that's in their novels, <laughs> zombie graphic novels. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's in their products? It, it says zombie that at? zombie preparedness <laughs> products. Yeah. What is, My, you know what the fuck you down. Right <laughs> How to survive zombies? Duh. Yeah, these are all fucking book recommendations from Barnes and Noble. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, it could happen. That's CDC is keeping it in mind though. So fuck you guys. No, they're just trying <laughs> to help you out and find the right book for it. Yeah. That's it. That's all that is. We're all seeing the same thing. CDC has it on their <laughs> website. Preparedness one hundred and one. Duh. You want to take a class? Sign up, bitch. <laughs> there you go. Not very far. <laughs> I like how you clicked on that and as soon as it loaded you just closed it up. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, no. If you want to know the truth, go look it up. <laughs> I've seen Goosebump. That's close enough. Jack Black on it. That makes more sense than your fucking CDC fucking zombie protocol bullshit. We just seen it on the CDC. Yeah, it had it said nothing. They had a list prepared. of books that it you just could said books. List of novels. Well, how do you learn? You read. Is that this is, how you learn? Now we're now we're getting, we're going full circle, full fucking circle <laughs> on how we figured out how dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, we was, didn't. They just someone made that shit up. All, life's imaginary. <laughs> exactly. Right? You can say what you want to say, and that's how it is. Like someone made up zombies. Yeah, obviously everything's made up. You know why zombies? Why is this a fan? Zombies? Who the fuck decided this is called a fan? Yes, but that's a thing. Right it now. is a thing. A zombie's a thing. <laughs> no. Person play, person place or thing. I've never it's a seen zen. a zombie a noun. ever. I've never seen a zombie. It's like an alien. So it's not a thing. So you don't think aliens are real? No. Right? Zombies aren't. Or real. zombies. 
<laughs> but this fan is real, so who decided it was a no, fan? No, we're though? talking about zombies, though. But we're deciding on who decided what the oh, fuck the word God. was going to be. Who invented it? Who invented it? Who invented the fan? Butler fan. <laughs> it doesn't Butler, sound off. Butler fan. <laughs> it doesn't sound off. That was his name. That was his name. <laughs> Butler fan. He's Asian? Yeah. <laughs> no, just look up who is Butler fan. <laughs> From the great dynasty of fans. <laughs> look at that. From the fan fan. Oh, that's just well. <laughs> Shoyler Wheeler. Oh, fucking that, that, Shoyler Wheeler is a legend. That's short for Butler. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. use your brain sometimes. He's looking at Butler. <laughs> There's actual Butler. There you go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking great seller. 2000 bucks. What's up? 2000. <laughs> No. What? Yeah, dude. Butler Do you want a fucking Butler fan? That's I bet your name is Butler fan right there, too. <laughs> Butler fan, right? Or the anime. Fan Butler fan period Butler. five. Gee, damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, Martin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Learn a new thing every day. A new thing every day. A new thing. new tang. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to teach us some tangs. Seven <laughs> Info at seven one two five meter dot com if you want to email us. And I'm sick and tired of Martin. We're out. Fuck. Hey.